Good morning all. I am Poonam Swapnil Zadho, working as assistant professor in Department of Computer Engineering, AISSMS, IOIT, Pune. Today, I am going to talk about integration testing, sanitation testing, regression testing, which comes under the software engineering course. Now, what is integration testing? When the SRS get completed and verified, the business analyst send the SRS to developer, designer and tester. When the developer is done with the coding, he does the white box testing on it. When the white box testing is over, then the developer has to do the integration. Integration is the process of mapping the new module with the old module. Means combining all the submodules and prepare one module. The developer should have all the knowledge about the functionality, relation, dependency of module over each other. Then he can do the integration. Software is a system in which output of one module is used as the input for the another module. When the developer does the integration, then he also does the integration testing. Integration testing is the process to check the correctness and the completeness of the flow of functionality whenever the integration of the module is performed. Now the integration has two types, front-end integration, back-end integration. In the front-end integration, the developer connect the modules using the call function. In the back-end integration, includes the connection between two or more tables in of the database by the join query. Now whenever the integration process ends, the testing starts. This is called the testing approaches. First approach is the top-down approach. Second is the bottom-up approach and third is sandwich or bidirectional approach. Now let us see the top-down approach. In the top-down approach, if we have to do integration testing and we have developed the module, but we don't have the next module from which we can check the correctness of the new module, then in that case, we use the dummy module. The dummy module is created from the stub. Stub is the dummy program created by the developer. The stub is in the XML format. To check the stub, we use the SOAP UI. The request and the responses is in the XML language. When we have the main module, but we do not have the sub module, that time we use the top down approach. Now, bottom up approach. If we have the sub module, but do not have the main module, then in that case, we use the bottom up approach. To check the submodule, the developer create the dummy main module. The developer first create the program called driver. These driver program are in XML language. Next is the bidirectional approach. When the when developer want to check the functionality of the main module, but he is not having the sub module, then the developer use the stub program. When the developer want to check the functionality of the sub module, but do not have the main module, then he uses the driver program. In the bidirectional approach, both type of testing is performed by the developer. Now next is the sanity testing. When we get the build from the developer, the tester is going to do the testing. When we get the new build from the developer, then the tester check the stability of the build. That is either the build is stable or not for testing. And this type of testing is called as the sanity testing. In SIT environment, this sanity testing is the first type of testing that is performed. And it is also called as the level zero testing. Sanity testing is also called as a tester acceptance testing, the build verification testing. 
Now regression testing. If we got the defect in the system or functionality testing or retesting, we raise the defect and inform it to the developer. When the developer fix the defect, he will send us the modified build. Then the tester will do the regression testing. Now what is regression testing? Regret plus action test on the modified build. What it is doing here, it is checking whether the defect that was present has been fixed or not and also that there should not be any side impact on the interconnected modules. Yes, in this way, we have seen the integration testing, sanity testing and regression testing. I hope you all have understood the concept of the testing that we have seen in today's class. Thank you.